Hello, welcome to AGA CAD. This video will show you how to get started using QValue tool. This video could be useful for architects and MEP engineers. We will make a few steps in order to start working with QValue tool. Firstly, we will load materials from the text files and that will create needed parameters for calculations. These materials will be used in our building envelope constructions. After the definition of layers, we will calculate overall heat transfer coefficient in two ways. So let's get started. Here we have a very simple Revit project and now we will use U-value tool to calculate the U-values. Firstly, what we will do, we will use the material data load configuration that uh, loads materials with parameters and creates new parameters needed for calculating U-value. Here we can uh, identify the path from where the tool will take the material library. For now, the path is here and uh, we can look. Here we have the materials that goes for ISO standard. Here is uh, written that goes uh, for the ISO standard. Here is uh, written the class on the name of the material, the weight. Uh, lambda value according which will be the calculations will be made and uh, the inner heat capacity per area also is written here if it's needed you can create your own material by duplicating this and uh, changing its parameters here and saving its uh, under the txt file name because the txt file is uh, is placed uh, here near the same uh, Excel file and uh, the Revit uh, will take uh, the information from from that txt files. Now we have to load materials with their parameters. We have uh, updated the materials and or we can or we have created materials and now we have to create shared parameters. Uh, this function creates new parameters needed for calculating U value. And here we have uh, a few parameters that will be needed uh, for calculating it. So lambda value is a thermal conductivity coefficient, CSPH uh, is internal heat capacity per area, bid material ID it's a material ID number, U-value is overall heat transfer coefficient, bit U-value config, it's a parameter needed for software, uh, for the calculation that uh, it, uh, it should understand everything inside it. Uh, key E is external heat capacity, key I is internal heat capacity, RC and uh, RCI, it's uh, envelope inner and uh, external surfaces thermal resistances uc value is overall heat transfer coefficient for not rated uh, airspace ventilation so that is all uh, now we have to create to make uh, our layers to be uh, created from that materials that we loaded just before All of these materials should have uh, the lambda value for calculation, so you have to be sure that all the materials are placed uh, from that txt file. And here we have our materials. All of the materials has uh, lambda value, as I said before, that goes for thermal conductivity and uh, CSPH that goes for inner heat uh, capacity per area. After the definition of uh, all the layers for your walls, floors, ceilings or roofs, we can calculate the U-value. We can calculate U-value for ceilings, floors, uh, roofs, structural foundations and walls. Doors and uh, windows are not included into the calculations. As you see here, 
we have a really simple dialog block. The green line identifies uh, the element that is placed into the project, not only not only loaded here into the project, but uh, what is used in the project. And uh, only the green lines could be calculated. Here we have a simple dialog again. Here we can make uh, some uh, some filtering, sorting, uh, distinct value in a column if you, if it's needed, and uh, here we have uh, the parameters if we want to change some parameters here. Also, we can uh, calculate u value. As I said, we have two different ways of calculations: a simple one and the calculations with configurations. So I will start with uh, calculations of u value simply. Just uh, I will press the button and the tool automatically identifies all what is needed here. The U value, the key, key I, RCE and RCI. Uh, the parameters could be could be used uh, from the project. All the parameters could be used here and uh, it's really, really uh, nice to work here. Also, all the parameters could be exported to the Excel. If I will use uh, the second calculation of U value with configuration, now I am able to to make some configurations about uh, the the heat flow direction that goes for horizontally flow and uh, for vertical flow, either it's up or down. Also, we have the thermal layer. It automatically detects the thermal layer and uh, the thickness of that layer also you can identify the that uh, the profile exists in this construction here you can choose uh, from wood or steel materials for example if i have uh, the steel uh, steel profile it could be z or c shaped also we have the profile spacing and the profile depth if I use the wood, wood material for the profile, I will get only the rectangular one of, uh, of the profile. Also the spacings in between, uh, in between profiles. Also we have the profile depth. If we will get uh, um, the ear layer, if we will have the ear layer, we will be able to change some ear flows inside of it. And after the calculations, we get such a value. If it's interesting, you could check what calculations was made here in the in the type comment. So that is simple explanation of how you should work with U value.